The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Once upon a time, there were three goats who lived in a field high up in the mountains. They were named the Three Billy Goats Gruff, and they loved to eat the fresh green grass in their meadow. But they ate so much of it that soon there was hardly any left. The Billy Goats Gruff became thin and hungry. One day, the Three Billy Goats Gruff saw a faraway meadow. It was full of young, fresh green grass that looked delicious but the meadow was on the other side of a rushing river. How can we cross the river and reach the meadow? Asked the smallest billy goat gruff. Look, said the middle-sized billy goat gruff, there's an old stone bridge across the river. I'm going to cross the bridge and try that delicious grass, said the youngest billy goat gruff. Wait, said the biggest billy goat gruff in his big, deep voice. Before you cross that bridge, there is something you should know. I have heard that a terrible troll lives under the bridge. He is big and hungry and has a long nose and horrible sharp teeth. The smallest billy goat gruff didn't care about a silly old troll. I may be small, but I am brave and bold, he said in his little voice. I'm not scared of any troll. So the smallest billy goat gruff skipped along to the bridge and started to cross it. His little hooves went trip trap, trip trap on the bridge. Suddenly, a voice came from under the bridge. It was a snarling, slobbering, snickering kind of voice. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It said. It was the troll. He leapt out from under the bridge and cried, I'm going to gobble you up for my dinner. He sharpened his claws and got ready to leap on the smallest billy goat gruff. The little billy goat gruff was frightened, but he thought quickly. Before the troll could leap on him, he cried, wait, don't eat me. I'm very thin and small. If you let me eat the grass on the other side of the bridge, I will grow big and fat. Then you can eat me when I come back. The troll was hungry, but he was greedy too and not very clever. All right, little goat, said the troll. I'll let you go, but make sure you're fattened up when you come back. So the smallest billy goat gruff trip trapped all the way across the bridge to eat the tender green grass in the meadow. Soon, the middle-sized billy goat gruff said to the biggest goat, I'm worried about our brother. I'm going to, I'm going across the bridge to see if he is safe. Take care, brother, said the biggest billy goat gruff. Remember the fearsome troll. If our little brother wasn't scared of the troll, then neither am I, said the middle-sized billy goat gruff. So the brave goat went to the bridge and started to cross it. His hooves were heavier than the smallest goats, and they made a heavier trip-trap, trip-trap sound on the bridge. The troll's voice came from the darkness under the bridge. It was a gibbering, jabbering, slavering kind of voice. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge, he said. The troll leapt out from under the bridge. A, bil a bigger billy goat, eh? I'm going to gobble you up for my dinner. Wait, called the middle-sized billy goat gruff. I may be bigger than my brother, but if I eat the grass on the other side of the bridge, I'll grow fatter still. The troll was hungrier than ever, but he hadn't gotten any less stupid either. All right, said the troll, you may pass, but I will eat the very next billy goat who crosses my bridge, no matter what size he is. So the middle-sized billy goat gruff trip-trapped across the bridge and munched on the sweet grass in the field with his little brother. It wasn't long before the biggest billy goat gruff decided to find out what had happened to his two brothers. He went to the bridge and started to cross it. The biggest billy goat gruff was very heavy and his hooves went trip trap, trip trap on the bridge. The troll called out from under the bridge and in his growling, grunting, grumbling voice said, who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Whoever you are, I'll gobble you up for my dinner. He leapt onto the bridge, but the troll stopped suddenly when he saw who was walking across. The biggest billy goat gruff was enormous. He had big shaggy legs with great big hooves on the end. On his head were gigantic curved horns. The biggest billy goat gruff wasn't at all afraid. Go on, he said in his big voice, gobble me up for your dinner, if you dare. Now it was the troll's turn to be afraid. The biggest billy goat gruff was even bigger than he was. The troll hesitated for a moment, but then he remembered how hungry he was. He leapt at the big goat, but the biggest billy goat gruff didn't care. He ran at the troll and butted him hard. 
The troll flew off the bridge and into the fast running stream. The stream carried the troll far away, down the mountain, and he was never seen again. That's the end of that, said the biggest billy goat gruff. He trip-trapped over the bridge and joined his two brothers. The three billy goats gruff ate all the grass they wanted and became very fat, and they lived happily ever after in their lush green meadow. The end.